tayong matakot. Huwag nating isipin na porkit single tayo, magiging malungkot na yung buhay natin or mahihirapan tayo financially when we face retirement. Hindi po totoo yun. This is June Fernando and I'm from Bamford Financials. Before anything else, allow me to say thank you again to all of you who have so far subscribed to our official YouTube channel, Bamford Financials, and to those who continue to like and share our videos. Again, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for all your support. It really means so much to us. And to those who continue to give us nice comments, again, maraming maraming salamat din po sa inyong lahat sa suporta ninyo. It really encourages us to keep on doing this financial advocacy. And so for today, you're in for another treat as we discuss another most requested topic and that is about managing finances for single people. Yes, you've heard it right. We will be discussing that today. Single ka pa ba? Alam niyo po ba, 60% of the world's population are depressed and of that 60%, sabi nila, 40% daw doon ay singles. But what's important to note is the fact that of these 40%, karamihan daw doon hindi because of pagiging heartbroken but because they're financially broken. Yes, tama po kayo. And so that's the reason why we have decided to come up with this video in order to help our single viewers and guide them on how to effectively manage their finances while they're still single. And so when you're ready, let us begin. So of course, on top of the list would be to have a financial plan. Ano ba tong financial plan? Siyempre, no financial journey will be complete without it. You have to ask the help of a professional, like a financial advisor or a financial planner. Itong tao na to, makakatulong sa inyo in arriving at the right questions para dito sa financial plans niyo. Questions like, ano bang dream house mo? Ano bang bak pangarap mo na retirement? Magkano bang gusto mong child's education? Ano bang gusto mong mangyari after 5 years? And so on and so forth. This financial plan can save you from major financial problems in the future. With this plan, you will also be forced to come up with a financial inventory, which is very important. Alam nyo ba, maraming Pilipino ang nag-fail financially because they don't have this inventory. Lahat kasi nagre-rely lang sa memory, which is wrong. Kasi alam naman natin, our memory can fail us, lalo na pag nagkakaedad tayo. And it's very important, lalo na when you're having all of these investments, pagka marami na kayong medyo napupundar, kahit pa paano, alam nyo, importante itong list na to. You have to have a list of everything that you own and everything that you owe. Kailangan malagay niyo doon lahat ng financial investments niyo, mga investments niyo sa mutual funds, sa banko, sa stocks, kung meron kayong insurance. At gayon din, meron din kayo dapat listahan ng lahat ng mga pagkakautang nyo, pending credit card bills ninyo, pending amortization ninyo, yung mga payables na tinatawag for insurance plans and policies, kailangan maayos na ilista natin to. Doesn't have to be a complicated list though, kailangan lang mailista konkreto sa isang papel. Kung hindi, makakalimutan natin to panigurado. Alam nyo, having this inventory can also help you come up with different realizations. At this stage, ang dami naming kliyente na nagkakaroon ng wake-up call. Nagkakaroon ng realization na, Teka lang, lima-lima pala ang bank accounts ko. Teka lang, ang tagal ko nang naka-invest dito, bakit hindi gumagalaw? Makakailangan ko na siyang i-transfer to a different investment instrument. And so on and so forth. Ang dami talagang realization when we do this inventory. And so it's very important that we have this in our financial portfolio. Ika nga. Also, in this stage, you will be asked by that financial advisor kung anong mga balak mo. Estate taxes, anong balak mong coverage in terms of life insurance, protection planning, ang tinatawag dyan, at kung ano-ano pa. And so, it's very important. Mahirap man, very tedious man itong first step na to, but it's very crucial. Next step would be to have an emergency fund. Sabi nila, pag single ka, dapat mas malaki ang emergency fund mo. Why? Because obviously, wala kang partner. Wala kang partner na sasalo sa'yo in case something 
unfortunate happens like an accident, an emergency, unlike those sa mga may partner, may katuwang sila eh. Meron silang katulong sa pagbayad ng mga bills, expenses, ng mga accidents na yan or emergencies na tinatawag, rentals, o kung ano-ano man. Lalo na ngayon, may, may crisis, alam nyo maraming nawala ng trabaho, maraming na retrench, maraming nalugi ang negosyo. And so, if you have an emergency fund, at least no, it will take the stress out of you during times like this. Sabi nila, pag single ka daw, kailangan minamaximum mo yung minimum emergency fund requirement, which is at least 6 months. Minimum na nga yun eh, lalo na single ka. Nabanggit ko kanina why, di ba? Kasi nga, walang ibang pwedeng tumulong sa'yo, di ba? Kung in case na mangailangan ka biglaan. At least, no, matatanggal mo na yung stress sa utak mo na, teka lang, sana kuhuhugat ng pera. And very important rin ito, mga emergency funds na to, kailangan easy access, which means nakalagay lang siya dapat sa banko or sa isang fixed income instrument na mas stable in terms of performance, ika nga. Third tip would be, to eliminate debts or kung maaari, avoid them kung kinakailangan. Sabi nila, there are two kinds of debts, the good debt and the bad debt. Pag good debts daw, these are money that you borrow to earn more. Paano yun? Like for example, when you leverage sa mga banko, nag-loan ka para to get into a new business venture, nag-loan ka para bumili ng condominium for investment purposes, basta these are money that you borrow para with the intention of earning more. Yun yung mga tinatawag na good debts. On the other hand, mga sinasabi nilang bad debts, ito yung mga times that you borrow money for the non-essentials and that when you borrow money because it's beyond your means, which is what we need to avoid, lalong-lalo na pag single ka. Again, because when you're single, wala ka namang partner na magbe-bail out sa'yo just in case all of these debts pile up in the future. So, hanggat maaari, iwasan na natin to to begin with. Huwag rin tayong revolver. Ibig sabihin ng revolver, ito yung mga taong binabayaran lamang yung minimum payment due every month sa mga credit card bills nila. Let's not do that. Let's not fall into the trap of being revolvers. Alam nyo, walang, wala kayong ibang naluloko but yourselves. Imagine nyo, Kung kaya nyo namang bayaran yon ng buo yung mga utang ninyong pending sa credit cards, why don't you? Diba, babayaran mo rin naman yon eventually. Bakit gugustuhin mo pang magkaroon ng penalty charges when in fact, pwedeng-pwede mo namang burahin na ito at an instant. So don't accumulate all of these debts. Alam mo nyo, later on, ito ang magiging dahilan kung bakit kayo masyado magiging stress financially kasi hindi nyo na alam kung saan-saan yung kailangan yung bayaran ng mga obligasyon. So eliminate those, lalo na yung mga maliliit pa lang. Try to eliminate those quickly kasi hindi siya worth the stress, worth all the headaches, ika nga. And fourth tip would be to increase your income. Let's not just rely on single income source. Hindi porket may trabaho ka, umaasa ka na lang dun sa paycheck na kukunin mo from your work on a month-to-month -month basis. Try to have multiple income streams. Expand your income streams, ika nga. Let's take advantage of the fact that we're still single and we're still very much flexible. Nandiyan ang mobility and we have all the time in the world to really boost our paychecks. Let's get into different business ventures. Makisosyo tayo sa mga kaibigan natin. Let's be more diba, open to all of these investment opportunities sa atin. Let's diversify, ika nga. Let's discover all of our talents, all of our skills. Ang dami dyan. Hidden talents nga, ba? Let's make sure that we really take advantage of all of these God-given skills and talents. Alam nyo, kasalanan po yun, ba? Na hindi natin siya minamaximize well. It's not because we're greedy or sakim tayo sa pera. We're not just talking about ourselves here. We're talking about other people as well. Alam nyo, when you expand your income and when you boost your paycheck, ika nga, you get to help a lot more people. You get to make a difference in the lives of many other people. Kaya yung very important rin po yan. So expand your income. Boost your paycheck, ika nga. Last tip would be to prepare for your future and for your retirement. There are so many ways for you to do that. One of which, obviously, would be to invest. 
and invest regularly while you still can. Always try to match your objectives with the investment instruments that you're getting into. Huwag nyo lang basta-basta ilalagay lahat ng pera ninyo in one product, hindi porkit kumikita ito ng malaki. Always try to diversify because diversification can help you spread out the risk of your financial portfolio. At the same time, it can help you increase the earnings potential of your finances. Next would be, in terms of preparing for your future and for your retirement, why not consider also getting your own house, your own condominium or townhouse. Alam nyo, habang maaga, kuha na kayo ng bahay na matitirhan ninyo in the future. Ang laking distressor nito. Ang dami kasing single people ngayon na namumoblema. Saan ako makikitira pagdating ng panahon? Sa kanino ako makiki, makiki housemate pag nag na ako? And so, it's very empowering to think that you have your own house. Maganda nga, bumili na kayo ngayon ng mga pre-selling projects na tinatawag. Madami yan, yung mga condominium. Hindi lang basta you are already preparing for your retirement, but because mas mura pa sila. Usually yan, pag pre-selling ang project, mas makakamura ka, marami pang discounts yan, at definitely, mas malayo pa rin ang presyo niyan kaysa dun sa bibili ka na ng actual na gawa na na project o bahay, or condo for that matter. Another way for preparing retirement would be to also make sure that you have a good amount of insurance coverage in place. Pagdating sa life insurance coverage, maliba na lang kung ikaw ang breadwinner ng pamilya, kung may umaasa pa talaga sa yung mga tao, like for example, parents mo o mga pamangkin mo o kung sino pa man, huwag po kayong masyadong maglalaan ng malaking amount dito kung single po kayo. Rather, invest in an insurance coverage that focuses more on health and medical coverages na tinatawag. Kailangan po natin to lalo na pag single tayo at lalo na habang tumatanda tayo kasi mas nagiging sickly na tayo, mas kailangan po natin to mga plans na to because sila yung magiging katuwang natin pagdating ng panahon na kailangan natin magbayad ng mga hospitalization expenses natin, medicines, o yung mga surgery costs na ang mamahal, di ba? Lalo na pagdating ng panahon, mas lalong magmamahal ng mga yan. And so it's very important na sa simula pa lang, makapag-invest na rin kayo sa mga insurance plans na geared towards all of these health and medical coverages na tinatawag. Another way of preparing for this future or for this retirement would be to come up with that will. Ang dami po namin kliyente na iniiwasan yung aspeto na to. Kesyo, ayaw daw nila maging morbid, ayaw nila masyado maging pessimist. We're not talking about being pessimists here. We're talking about being very practical. You know, ang will po, it's an, actually a legal document that states what you want to happen and when you want those things to happen. When you have a will, masusulat nyo dito lahat ng gusto nyo mangyari sa mapag-iiwanan ninyong assets. Magkano ang bibigay nyong allocation sa parents mo, magkano ang bibigay mong um, pamana sa mga paborito mong inaanak at pamangkin sa religious groups na gusto mong bigyan ng donation, at kung ano-ano pa, let's face it, pag single ka, maraming nag-aagawan sa assets mo if something unfortunate happens to you. And so, for you to help avoid all of these conflicts, kailangan maisaayos na po natin habang kaya pa, habang maaga pa, ang mga will at ang mga dokumento na to. Part of that will could also be a part that can state all of your wishes. Ano yung mga wishes na to? Wishes mo, for example, naging biglang physically ill ka, mentally incapable ka, anong gusto mong handling ng finances mo sa mga kamag-anak mo. Pwedeng-pwede mo dun sabihin, oh, pag na-hospital ako at naging um, mentally incapable na ako, make sure na hanggang 1 million lang ang gagastos inyo from my funds para pagalingin ako. Beyond that, pag hindi talaga ako kayang mapagaling, hayaan nyo na ako, huwag nyo na akong subukang i-revive pa kasi sayang naman ang pera. Pwede nyo pa siyang gamitin in some other means, in some other things, di ba? Pero yung iba naman will say, oh, ang laki ng iiwanan ko, make sure na talagang popondohan nyo yan, talagang ibibigay todo ninyo, lahat ng kakailanganin kong gamot at medical facilities, mabuhay lamang ako. Lahat, lahat po yan malalagay ninyo in that document. That's, that's the reason why we highly recommend that, not just for moneyed people, 
but more so for single people like you. Alam nyo, part of having that will must also be a list of all your passwords, user ID, lahat ng mga bank account numbers ninyo, lahat ng mga pinaglalagyan ng mga titulo ninyo, lahat-lahat po, deed of sale na kailangan pong nakapresign na para mas madaling ma-transfer sa mga heirs ninyo pagdating ng panahon. Alam nyo, kasi tandaan ninyo, lahat ng mga pinaghirapan natin, lahat ng mga pinundar natin, we don't want them to be put to waste, ba? Diba? And so, para maiwasan to, kailangan maisaayos rin natin ang mga dokumento na to. Hindi po ito sa pagiging pessimist, again, pagiging practical and strategic po ito. Again, we want all of these things to be to be going to the right people, to be going to the right institution. Ayaw natin na mapasawalang kwenta lahat po ng mga pinagpaguran natin all of these years. And so, wag po tayong matakot. Huwag natin isipin na porkit single tayo, magiging malungkot na yung buhay natin, or mahihirapan tayo financially when we face retirement. Hindi po totoo yun. Always remember, whether you're single or whether you're a married person, lagi yan may advantage at may disadvantage. Hindi porkit single ka, malulungkot ka na, madidepress ka na, or financially unstable ka na, ganun din naman. It's not a guarantee that when you're married, you'll be um, made in the future. Nasa tao pa rin po yan. What's important is the fact that you know how to manage your life well, that you are putting everything in its proper order while you still can, and that you know how to manage your finances effectively. And so I hope this short video has helped you in one way or another, most especially for our single viewers. And if you think you like this video, I hope you can click like and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Ram for Financials, and to those who continue to like and share our videos, again, maraming salamat po sa inyo. Again, this is June Fernando saying good luck and happy investing.